Today we're going to test WD-40 big blast against a pair of pliers that we found out in the field that somebody had dropped and had set in the field for quite a few years. So we're going to test this WD-40. We're going to first shake it up as I say to do with the directions. I'm pretty good at doing this. Okay. And here we go. We're going to give it some WD-40. See how it does. Do both sides. Now we got enough on there. We're going to let it go for about 15 20 minutes and see what happens. Now, WD 40 claims to loosen rusted parts. There's the can. Let's see what it says loosens rusted parts. So we will find out right now if it really works. A few minutes and we're going to wipe it off here. I don't like to get this material in my hands. We're going to wipe it off and see how we're doing. <clears throat> it moved a little. Yes, it moved a little. Couldn't do that before. It's getting easier. Okay. Now we'll hit it with another batch. Mm, even more. A little bit of rust in there. That's pretty good. That's coming. Okay, now we'll let it sit a little longer and we'll do it again. Oh wow, it's real, look at that, real, real easy to move now. Now it just has to open up a little more. Ooh, look at that. Very good. Well, wow, that's amazing stuff. It really does work. Not not as good as new, but pretty close. Wouldn't you say, Mike? Now we can just clean it up and oil it and put it back in the shelves for the guys to lose again. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some coarse sandpaper and there's some big rust on here. I'm going to clean this rust off. All the surfaces that are rusty. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're recording.
Ready? Okay, now we pretty well have this cleaned out all over. And it really does work pretty well. There it is. Not brand new, but good enough that we can use them. And the last thing we're going to do now is get some paint. And we're just going to get a little paint to help protect it again. So when it gets lost, it won't rust as bad until we find it again. And hopefully, if we paint it with some bright color, the guys will see it before they walk away and leave it on the ground. There it is. We're going to paint it next. Okay, We're ready to go and we're going to paint it. Now you'll never guess what color I'm going to paint it so the guys won't miss it. It's all been ready to prime. Oh, sunshine. Snower indicates trees are at risk from global cooling. Thus, we recommend that you plant green giants instead of Leyland cypresses in USDA plant zone 6. Be prepared for another cold winter. The myth of the Arctic meltdown. Stunning satellite images now show as of August 2014 the summer ice cap is thicker and covers 1.7 million square kilometers more than two years ago. This is despite Al Gore's prediction that there would be no ice by now seven years after Al Gore's warning. The Arctic ice cap has expanded for its second year in a row and has grown to an area twice the size of Alaska, the biggest state which was open water two years ago and is now ice covered. Nowhere indicates trees are at risk from global cooling. Thus, we recommend that you plant green giants instead of Leyland cypresses in USDA plant zone 6.